In one of my previous videos, you've seen me remove the flower stalks on my imbricata. Yet for others, I usually leave the flower stalks on because sometimes this helps me identify the plant if I'm not sure of the ID. So all I have to do is to wait for the flowers to come out and I'll compare them against a database of known plants. You could also remember that in some of my previous videos, I've been using the leaves on the flower stalks for propagation. I do that when I don't want to mess with the main rosette. So all I have to do is to just pick out the leaves. best doing this when the flowers haven't opened yet. This basically indicates that the whole thing isn't too mature yet and you wouldn't want the leaves to be overly mature. That way they would still have a lot of life in them. So this is how I usually do it. I get as much of the leaves as I can and just leave the flowers intact. As you can see from the flower stalk alone, you can already gather a whole lot of leaves. Some cultivars, particularly the frilly, caranculated, and large types, do not normally propagate successfully from leaf cuttings. So an alternative technique that you can use is chopping off the tip. And for that, all you have to do basically is to cut off the growing tip. This is the same principle as beheading. And hopefully some offsets will form along the stem. If you're lucky, this method will give you new plants along the flower stalk. Mm -hmm. 